Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bostic with Harley Middle School's Technology Communication Technology and Leadership Academy. Um, we're here today. We're going to do a After Effects tutorial dealing with um, recreating a scene from Iron Man. Um, we're going to be making a HUD, uh, you know, digital HUD. Um, it's going to be in front of your face. And we got to give a quick shout out to Andrew Kramer over at VideoCopilot.net. Um, a lot of the things that we're doing came from um, him and his website. Um, go check him out. He has a great website, a lot of really awesome stuff. Um, he's pretty funny too, so give him a check out. Uh, what we're going to do is try to go ahead and recreate this, or basically create this, or something like this. You got, you got your, your Faye, your, your act, actor, or you got some elements you know all over the place they're doing their thing randomly and getting stuff done all right not the prettiest thing in the world but hey it's a start so we start off you need to make a composition you need to import your footage if you don't already have it in your project window if you don't obviously double click on your project window and take you to your import find your file and open it I'm not gonna open mine because I already have it right here Gonna make a new composition by dragging it down to the create new composition button. And there we go. Uh, first thing I want to do is get rid of this green area, which is also called keying. K-E-Y-I-N-G keying. Um so we don't because we don't want a green background in there, we're gonna take that out. So what you can do is you can go to effect key light. I don't really know why this is grayed out for me right now. I've got my layers selected and all that good stuff, but oh well, if I come over to my effects and presets and I start typing out the word key light, which is the name of the effect that we're trying to do, I can grab it from here, drag it in, and it gives me my key light effects controls over here. To key out this green section, what you want to do is you want to go to screen color. And you're going to click on the eyedropper because you want to sample the color of the green screen. You come into your green screen, just put your cursor on it, click one time, boom. It'll do a pretty decent job um, of getting rid of most of the green. Now, if you notice, there is a white halo going around me. You can go in and you can fine tooth comb it and touch it up and make it look really good. Um, the main things you're going to use are your screen gain. You can take that and you can, you know, play with that and mess with the tolerance and stuff take it wherever you need the screen balance it's gonna do things like that there alright you can go in and tweak it and get it as perfect as you like we're not gonna spend a whole bunch of time trying to get it where it needs to be because we're just gonna do this kinda quick screen matte also your clip black your clip white all of these things are gonna make a difference in your key but for right now we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna leave it about where it is and that's where it's going to be. The first thing we're going to do is make this grid. The nice little grid down here at the bottom that's going this wave run left and right. Um, we're going to go ahead and make that grid so we can add that into our shot. To make that grid, you are going to go back, select your composition you're going to go to effect generate and I still don't know why those things aren't coming up for yours yours will probably be black so you can click on stuff but what we want to generate is a grid which if you go into effect go down to generate and you will find grid I'm going to grab drag my grid on here like so I take that back what you're actually going to do is you're going to make a new solid. Go to layer, new solid. All right, we're going to make that solid white. We want it to be um, comp size. We're going to name it grid. Square pixels, white. There you go. All right, that's going to give you this. We're going to apply our grid to this white solid. And there we go. Once we have our grid up there, we're going to adjust this grid a little bit. We don't want it to be so so thick. So we're going to take the border and we're going to drag that down. 
not to zero. Um, two, three, either one of those work. Two, 2.0, 3.0, 2.5, maybe 2.8 is really into whatever you decide. It's your choice. All right. That's going to give us just a standard grid. Now, we want this grid to look kind of cool. We want it to have some different types of lines and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this grid and we're going to duplicate it. So I'm make sure my grid is selected. Command D, duplicate it. Now I've got two of them. Now that we have a second grid, we're going to modify a border for the second grid, for grid two. We're going to bump that up thicker. Um, that looks pretty good. 16, 5, 17, 5. Somewhere in, we're in there. Remember, do, do your own thing. Um, 17, 16, 5 is where I'm at. And then I'm going to change the, where is it? The blending mode from none to stencil alpha all right now it doesn't look like really anything happened but what we're gonna do is if you notice you have two points right here that you can modify if you grab not the center point but the opposite the other the other point you click and hold and you start dragging it you'll notice your lines will start to change all right pretty cool so you can grab that you can spread it around, make it look however you want to make it look, get some dashes, some dash lines, some solid lines, things like that, and you've got a pretty cool looking grid. Now to get this grid looking the way we want it to look, we need to take it and change it to a 3D object so that we can move it around in three-dimensional space. So down here in your switches and modes, um, you're looking at your switches, you want to on the grid layer at make it a 3D layer by clicking on the spot where you can get that 3D box. That's going to give you your 3D gizmo. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this grid in 3D space. So I'm going to go up here to my rotate tool and I'll put my cursor. Notice here I have a little the arrow with the little rotate symbol. But if I put my cursor actually on one of the um, axis lines, this is your X, this is your Y, and this blue is your Z. It will actually just say the, the letter of the axis. And that way, if I click and drag, click hold and drag, it will only rotate it on that axis. All right, I'll undo that. If I don't, if I'm here, I can rotate it all kinds of way all on all axes at once. But that's not what I want to do. I'm just going to grab that, rotate it down on the X flatten it out and then I'm gonna move it so I'm gonna go to my move tool I could push the letter V or go up here to my move tool put my cursor on my um, axis here and it's allowing me to pull it down alright get it down there like that you know if you want you can grab a corner resize it make sure you'll shift you know and get it where you want it you know I'm gonna bring that up you know, you don't have to put it exactly where mine is, but it's up to you where you want to put it. So there we have our grid. Um, we can change the color of our grid. Go into your color. I'm going to make mine a blue. Uh, do something maybe like that. It's a little purple. There we go. That's a nice light blue. And I'm going to change the mode of this layer. So hit my toggle switches and modes and change this to add so that it doesn't completely kind of picks up some of the stuff that's underneath it. All right, there you go. You got your grid made. Next, we want to make our grid move. It was kind of teeter tottering left and right. So um, we could do that. We could actually go in here and hand animate, uh, create keyframes. And animate this moving but we don't have to there's these things called expressions that we're going to use so what you're going to do go ahead and go to your grid layer we're going to we want it to rotate so we need to look at our rotate attributes we're going to press the letter R all right it's going to give us our rotation we want it to rotate left and right 
all right so we want to rotate right here on this um, Z axis or the Y axis we are going to take it back and forth so what we're going to do is we're going to add an expression if you hold down your option or alt key and click on the stopwatch it will bring up your expression line the expression we're going to use is called wiggle we'll type in wiggle w-i-g-g-l-e no space parentheses um, we're going to do 0.5 um, let's try 20 close parentheses and then to get out of this don't press enter I just go ahead and click on any other attribute and it will set it so what this says is it's going to so every 0.5 times a second um, is going to change 20 degrees or 20 pixels however you want to look at it so you can drag it time slider there you go you got some wiggle all right and it does that all by itself um, you don't have to to mess with it so um, it's not looking very flat to me I'm gonna rotate mine just a little bit more on this x-axis just to make it a little bit flatter there we go then maybe V maybe bring it up a little bit there now nah, I got something there you go you bring it down a little bit we got a little open spot there so there we've got our grid it's rotating back and forth for us we should be good to go.